Okay, I'm just gonna be do. I'm just gonna briefly do 2018 exam one. Um, number one and two, I did not work it when I did physics, so I'm just gonna be doing the ones that I worked to make it go quicker. I did number three and number four, so those are the ones we're gonna be doing today. Um, so let's get started with number three. Okay, so number three, the question is gonna pop up here. You can read it. You can take a picture of this screenshot and we, I'm just gonna go straight into working it. So let's get started. Um, so they want us to find the force block two exerts on, yeah, they want us to find the force block two exerts on block one. So we're gonna need to draw the free body diagram. So let's start with block one. Actually, let's start with block two. So I think there's less forces on that one. So block two, we're gonna have M2G, M2G, and then we're gonna have a normal force, and two, then we're gonna have a force of friction, force of friction, and those are all the forces on block two. This is block two, and then we're gonna have block three. Block three is just gonna be M3G and tension, M3G, and then you're gonna have tension, and then block one, this is the one, you're gonna have M1, G, N1, then you have N2, N2 coming down on that, and then you have the tension force being pulled that way, then you have force of friction, the opposite way for static friction, and those are all you have, and for our coordinate system, there's gonna be plus X, plus Y, and for this one, coordinate, we're gonna do it down, plus y, okay? And now since we have all that, let's just write the general equations. A1x is equal to A2x, which is equal to A3y, only because um, they're all part of the same strength, massless, unstretchable strength, and we're just gonna name all this ax. So let's start by writing the general equation. fx equals max, fy equals may. Okay, so now let's get started. This one's gonna be M3G minus T is equal to M3A. Let's just name it A. Yeah, we're just gonna name all them A. Since we don't have to, yeah, we don't wanna clarify. Just name everything A. Yeah, we're just gonna name everything A. So that's gonna be M3A. Next thing we're gonna do is N2 minus M2G equals zero. And then we have N1 minus M1G minus N2 equals zero. This, one, this, one, this one's not gonna be needed anyway. And then we have T minus F, FR is gonna be this one, this for block one, is equal to MA, M1A. And F of R is equal to M2, yeah. Let's do F of R. This force right here is equal to M2A. So those are all the equations we're gonna be using. So we can already find the first formula that, that we're gonna use. N2 is equal to M2G. And that's one of the answers on the, for, the, for this question. Okay. Actually, no, it's this one right here. So over here, we can take that and we'll write A is equal to FFR over M2. So after you're given that, you can do M3G. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be combining. Yeah, we're gonna combine. To get, we're gonna combine this, we're gonna add that. So the tensions are gonna go away and this is gonna be M3, G minus F, FR is equal to M1 plus M3A, okay? So now since we got that, we can substitute that A over there, and this is gonna be M3G minus F, FR is equal to M1 plus M3, F, FR over M2. Simplify it by saying this is equal to M3G minus FFR, which is equal to M1 plus M3 over M2 times FFR. So now we got that by itself. 
We're going to multiply both sides by M2 over that, and we're going to divide by M3G minus FFR, okay? So when you do that, it's going to be, let me write over here. Still got space over here. So we're going to move over here. It's going to be M2 over M1 plus M3, and then M3G minus FFR, M3G minus FFR. And that's going to be equal to FFR because we're multiplying both sides by that. So this term goes away. So that's equal to FFR. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to divide both sides by the M3G minus FFR. Okay. So now we're going to get um, M2 over M1 plus M3 is equal to F. F R over M three G minus F F R. Okay. So now we're just going to simplify this. This is equal to F F R over M three G minus F F R over F F R. And this is just equal to one. So now since we have that, we're solving for FFR, right? We're solving for FFR. So we're going to add one. We're going to add one to this side. And the final answer is going to be one plus M2 over M1 plus M3. And then you're multiplying by M3G. You're multiplying by M3G. So that and then M3G is equal to F. FR, and that should be the final equation that you get for this uh, for this for this problem. Okay, so number four, we're gonna start off by drawing off the free body diagram. The if you want to take a picture, it's gonna be right there on the screen. So let's start off. Um, this is gonna be the free body diagram, right there. We got force P, and then we got gravity mg. We got gravity mg, and we got force of friction, force of friction going that way. And then we have, um, yeah, and then we have normal force. We have a normal force going that way, because it's on a ramp. And those are all the forces. And then after that, let's start off by writing the acceleration. Ax is equal to six alpha t plus two beta, and that's what they gave us. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we're taking, they gave us x of t. They give you x of t, which is equal to alpha t cubed, alpha t cubed plus beta t squared. So you take the derivative, it's gonna be three alpha t squared, and that's gonna be your thing. 3 alpha t squared plus 2 beta t, and then you take the derivative again and you get the acceleration. So now when you have the acceleration, um, we're going to do f of x and f of y, and then we're going to combine and solve for the magnitude of p, which is the unknown force. So let's start off. f of x is going to be equal to max, and this is going to be equal to p cosine theta because we're looking for the x that's theta right there so that's going to be the same or p cosine phi p cosine phi yeah they named it phi i think yeah it's phi okay okay yeah they named it yeah they named it phi so let's just write p cosine phi and then you have plus mg sine theta, because of the ramp, you know, downwards, looking for the x value is going to be mg sine theta, minus mu n, which is equal to m, and the a, we have it right here, 6 alpha t plus 2 beta, okay? Next, let's do the f of y, which is equal to m a y, 
and let's write the formula, um, which is equal to zero. So this one's just gonna be equal to zero. So in the y direction, we have normal force minus mg cosine theta, and then you have minus p sine phi, because phi is gonna be this, this is phi, so sine is gonna be the y value of it, and it's going downwards. So now we have that, so we can just solve for n. This is all equal to zero. So now we know n is equal to mg cosine theta plus p sine phi, okay? So yeah, that's the n. You substitute the n over there, and you're gonna get p cosine phi plus mg sine theta minus mu mg cosine theta plus p sine phi. Okay, you get plus p sine phi. And okay, now to simplify, and this is all equal to ma. This is all equal to the ma. So now to simplify even more, let's let's put the like terms together. So we have p cosine phi and we have p sine phi. So let's write p cosine phi minus mu sine phi minus mu sine phi and then we have plus mg sine theta and then we have minus mu mg cosine theta and this is all equal to that right there this is all equal to m6 alpha t plus 2 beta okay so now we're solving for p so you just divide everything by yeah you just divide everything by all that so p is going to be equal to okay we're going to put all the m's together we're going to put all the m's together so we're going to add that to that side add that so it's going to be p is equal to m you have m and then you have um six pi six alpha t plus two b and then you have plus g or negative g sine theta because you're subtracting yeah it's negative so six alpha t plus two beta minus g sine theta plus mu g cosine theta and then all that divided by cosine phi minus mu sine phi and that should be the final answer and that is it for number four and that's it for this video number three and four completed for 2018 and i'll see y'all in the next video 2018 exam two